Hello everybody, my name is Nugang and I am the Vice President of BUV Student Association Committee. And today, uh, welcome to the first episode of Dear Deadlines, Please Treat Me Well. And for those who didn't know about this series, um, Dear Deadlines, Please Treat Me Well was produced by the Academic Affairs Department of SAC. And this series uh, will contain 11 videos and each video will invite, we will invite one of the most outstanding students from 11 majors who are final year students or alumni at BUV. Um, with Dear Deadlines, Please Treat Me Well, uh, SAC hope that um, our student community, especially year one and year two students, uh, or even prospective uh, students will have a chance to know about our seniors. Uh, and have another, uh, I mean, another perspective towards our majors and learn from their tips during their time at BUV. And I have a, a special guest today, and she is an alumni from tourism management at BUV, and her name is Lani from 1810 tourism management TM and I am happy that you are here with us uh, for this episode and to those who are not familiar with Chi Thi, I will let her introduce herself uh, hello everyone you see me yes okay, we can see so, you. hello everyone so uh, as you know my name is Ni and I'm a head project from class of 2021 and now I'm an editor at one of the Step magazine after graduate from tourism management major at BOB Mm, okay, so Chi Nhi was once a president of SAC year 2020 and 2021 and today, but today we're not talking about that and we will be focusing on how she survived through assignments being a student at BUV. So the first question of today is, um, what were your challenges while studying your major at BUV from the very first days until now? Yeah, so uh, because I'm a chosen student, so um, actually we have to lie about a lot. Uh, we did not have exams after year one, and we didn't even have presentation at year two. So we have many written assignments instead. Um, the topic of assignment is like probably about um, the tourism activities of uh, a city in the world. So when it comes to tourism products, it there's a high possibility that you will touch deeper fields like culture or civil sciences or uh, history. And believe me, that is a whole different world that you have to reach much more than what you think uh, to understand the features of a tourism product. Damn, that sounds like a lot of work. Um, so what were your strategies uh, in tackling those difficulties? Uh, I did not stop writing until I have a detailed outline with references. Uh, I create an Excel sheet to build the outline with for my paper choice, and then I will try to make it as detailed as possible. Like I will find a uh, different result on different topic. No, uh, well, I found different results from different studies on the same topic, and then I put them on the Excel sheet so that I can practice critical writing. And also, I have a broad picture of what is going on, and I will start writing after I have a, that detailed outline. And remember to put the link to the article like immediately after you have put them down on the outline so that you will miss, not miss the citation and got the plagiarism after that. Mm, okay, so I've talked to you before this interview and you claim to be receiving academic merit most of the time. So how do you deal with assignments uh, during the deadline season? So I always put share that I start during the assignment very soon, like right after uh, I received the uh, assignment brief. And another strategy is that um, actually there's a lesson learned from the previous semester that don't focus too much on the first assignment because when you realize that you have two more weeks and you have three assignments to do, so you cry your eyes out under the very high pressure of the time. Mm. Um, so. <laughs> Yeah, you were once an SAC president and you were in photography clubs. And I've heard that you went through internship every semester. So um, how did you balance that, those activities um, and your studying at BUV? At the moment, when I'm looking back, I think that was an endurance test. Like, do I think it is impossible until it's done? 
So I just start planning and doing right from the beginning that I have to before. During my term at SAC, the last two weeks, be- weeks before deadline were very tough because I had to prepare for the Christmas party and then finish my assignment at the same time. So one tip for me is that teamwork for individual tasks later because it is, this tip applies for the second reason that there are the task that could not be done. And uh, if you're not done first, the other task cannot be done. It's like project management. So after you have finished your teamwork task and pass it to another person, then you can start the individual task. Mm. You, you need more productive. Yes. Okay. So the last question of today is, um, what is the one piece of advice that you would give to um, the students majoring in the same area as you during the deadline season? I think my, my um, advice would apply to all of you. <laughs> Don't be lazy, start everything early, and work hard and work smart. Um, take advantage of useful tools to save time, such as manually for referencing or work on that for task management. That you can save a lot of time. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you for those tips. Um, yeah, that's the last question for today. I think you guys can learn a lot from Ting Yi, uh, from the tips and advice that she has given it, uh, us today. And yeah, thanks. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Ting Yi, for being here. Uh, it is currently nine and she's still here with us with a COVID uh, in her throat. Uh, so if you have any questions, uh, please um, comment down below. And uh, Ting Yi and SAC will be more than happy to answer those questions. And if you uh, have more intimate questions you can you know direct to me to you know she will be answered those questions so yeah thank you for watching and have a great night bye bye <laughs>